Hi, I'm Deb Soros, Clinical Specialist at Alter-G. We're going to review the foundations of using the Alter-G with your neuro patients. One of the main benefits of using the Alter-G with neuro patients is how it can really help maximize motor learning. There are three key things to keep in mind. First, the exercises should be task specific. Second, exercises should be performed at a level of high intensity. And third, always aim for a high level of repetition. Using the Alter-G with your neuro patients allows you to combine all three. Our unique NASA patented differential air pressure technology allows you to unweight patients down to 20% of their body weight in 1% increments. This enables patients to rebuild strength and confidence. The Alter-G allows for longer treatment sessions since patients have a higher tolerance versus other methods of body weight supported therapy. Longer treatment means more practice, which leads to improved ambulation. With over 1,000 clinics in the United States, we see many different uses of the Alter-G with neurologic patients. Some of those include multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and CVA. Regardless of the diagnosis, if unweighting allows the patient to work on proper gait mechanics and more of it, they're a perfect candidate to gait train on the Alter-G. So let's review some goals for working with neuro patients. Our first goal is to find the exact amount of support needed to allow them to practice walking and improve technique. We recommend starting patients at 40 to 50% body weight and progressively loading them over the course of their rehab program based on improvement. Remember, at any given time, you can unload the patient's body weight to make standing or walking easier. For neuro patients, we want to allow them to train comfortably so they can tolerate longer sessions practicing skills they need improvement on. More practice equals greater motor learning and hopefully better outcomes. The second goal is to provide a fall safe environment for neuromuscular re-education and challenges. Some examples of this are correcting scissoring gait by using visual cues from our video monitoring system, practicing single limb stance activities to improve static and dynamic balance, and working on gait kinematics. Our third goal is to challenge patients with task specific activities in that fall safe environment. Combining cognitive, visual, or upper extremity tasks while walking on the Alter-G will help simulate conditions the patient needs to return to. Some examples of these activities would be combining tossing a ball, performing upper extremity exercises, or cervical rotation while walking. There are many other benefits of using the Alter-G, such as developing a normal gait pattern and increasing walking efficiency, including speed, step, and stride length. It can also help to improve balance against falls, enhance range of motion at the hips, knees, and ankles, and improve exercise at aerobic levels. Once the patient is in the Alter-G, it's important that they have proper trunk support. For patients who have poor trunk control, set the cockpit at a higher level. Make sure to adjust the height appropriately so the patient isn't leaning too far back or too far forward. If you have questions about getting lower level patients safely in and out of the Alter-G, we have a separate video that explains how to do this. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos for more information.